الله أكبر 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 أشهد أن لا رضيت بالله رب رب الاسلام دينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم وسلم كثيرا بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان الحمد لله ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستش نح... نستعين ونستهدي وتهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا انه من يهده الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه أشهد أنه قد بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة ومحى الغمة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى أتاه اليقين فصلاة وسلاما على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر كيف ضرب الله مثلا كلمة طيبة كشجرة طيبة أصلها ثابت وفرعها في السماء وعن أبي سعيد الخضري رضي الله عنه قال عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إذا أصبح ابن آدم إذا أصبح ابن آدم فإن الأعضاء كلها كلها تكفر اللسان وتقول اتق الله فينا فإن نحن فإنما نحن بك فإن استقمت استقمنا وإن أعوججت أعوججنا رواه الترمذي أما بعد أو oh, praise to Allah أو oh, praise to Allah the one the only the one who should be worshipped I bear witness that he is the creator of this universe and he is the one who should be worshipped I bear witness that Muhammad عليه الصلاة والسلام is his messenger true mercy sent to us if you follow his path إن شاء الله will be in Jannah أما بعد the way of communication between each other is what? It's talking. The way we talk makes a difference in life. The way we talk makes a difference in life. I always say, I can tell you with a smile, good morning, or good morning, or start yelling, good morning, 
Oh, like in Ramadan, I yelled at everyone to stop them. I have a lot of voice. I can do that. The problem is every, the same wording can mean different things. Subhanallah. Then, how can we better communicate with each other? The word is a way to communicate. How can we do that? First, you have to choose the right words. You have to choose the right words. Is there an example for that? Yes. When Sayyidina Yusuf radiallahu anhu, alayhi salatu wassalam, alayhi salatu wassalam, we told, talk the prophets, he said alayhi salatu wassalam, sahaba radiallahu anhu. Okay? It's a side thing. But anyway, Rasul alayhi salatu wassalam, Sayyidina Yusuf, when he came to the Malik, he talked to him and قال, قال الملك اتوني به استخلصه لنفسي. فلما كلمه, then Sayyidina Yusuf talked to him. قال إنك اليوم لدينا مكين أمين. You are in power. What do you want? Then really, what did he say? Said Yusuf. We don't know. But really, I believe a nice wording. How to use the word right. Second, try to use the nice words to everyone. As for example, all girls like getting married. I wish that you are Arusa. Or my son, I hope that you are a doctor or an engineer. Or hopefully, like I always say, Yaris. Everyone smiles, likes it, right? Even the old people like me, even though I'm married. But still, if you tell me Yaris, yeah, I'll go ahead, enjoy. Even though I cannot do it. But Alhamdulillah, I'm still, I want to be Yaris, right? Everyone. Every one of us, subhanAllah. Then try to choose the good names and drop the bad names if there is any. Don't use bad names to anyone. What's like, or like example, you know, the short, the tall, one eye, two eyes. I'll give you a harder one. When I came to Canada here, my son, it's a true story. My son told me, where are you taking me, father? I told him at this school. Oh, the brown school. What? What's the brown school? Everyone know, when I said brown school, oh, Pakistani, what? Why? We are brown. Who said, I'm not brown? I'm brown. But still, brown school, put everyone. Egyptian school, Syrian are bad, Palestinian are whatever. Why? Who said that? You generalize. Then the wording, using the word, take care of these things. Because it can hurt. It can hurt in a way. Or, how many times we want to push our son or daughter. What do you tell him? He took 80. Oh, you're a fashion, you're bad. What? Why you tell him that? You push him down. Instead of telling, push him down what? Raise him up. You can do better. I know you're intelligent. You can do 90. But it's okay, 80 is okay still, but you can do 90. You can do 95 and so on. Try to make it positive, don't go negative. Yeah, fashion. Oh, or go to your daughter, your daughter, tell her, you are ugly. What? I heard some people, what are you doing? Don't say that, she's beautiful. Everyone, Allah didn't create an ugly thing. Everything is beautiful. Tell her you're beautiful. Or tell her like I tell my daughter, Ya Arusa, I hope that I'll see you Arusa in your house. A bride in your house. Arusa is bride. If you don't know the word Arusa. A bride, I'm trying, uh, by the way, I didn't translate it in the beginning because I, I, I forgot it. I, I just remember it now. Ya Arus, a bride. It's not written here. A bride. Tell her that. She would love you smiling. She would love you more. It's simple word. Look at the Prophet, I saw them to learn. What the Prophet said. Abdullah ibn Abbas, nine years old. Nine years old. What? He's the most knowledgeable? Nine years old? And there is Omar, and there is Abu Bakr, and there is Ali, and there is, and there is. But yes, try to push up, raise up the, 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 the youth. Don't push down. I always say to the, the son, anyone here, you're smart. But if you can do better, you're smart. Start with a positive. You are good, but you can do better. And tell him the better now. Three, try to make dua. I gave a khutbah before about that. How many times your son, your daughter are causing you trouble at home and, and instead of trying to, uh, to 
control him nicely. You make dua on him. I hope you're not here. I wish you're not born. Or you make dua on yourself. I wish Allah will take me. What? You're making dua on yourself. What are you doing? The Prophet والسلام, went to visit someone and he told him, did you make any dua? He said, yes, oh Allah. He said, this person, oh Allah, if you're going to punish me in the hereafter, punish me in this dunya. And the Prophet looked at him and said, you cannot, you cannot handle that. What can, what can you say better than this? You say, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasana. Oh Allah, give me in this dunya hasana and the hereafter another hasana. Wa qina adhab al nar. This is the dua. Sometimes you do that, but try to control. Subhanallah. Control the tongue. Sometimes the word is worse than swords. The swords, the knife can cut, but it can heal. How many times someone tells you a bad word that it stays with you forever? I remember one of my friends, when I was almost eight or nine, he tells me a bad thing, and until today I remember it. I'm over 25. But anyway, I still remember it until today. Even sometimes my father told me something. Wallahi, I remember the story as it happened yesterday. I was at that time six years. Until now I remember it. He compared me with someone of my relatives. And he told me he's better. And I remember the story until today. May Allah forgive my father. I know he meant it in a way to push me better. But sometimes it hurts me. Because why are you comparing anyone to anyone? You know, your, your cousin is better than you. He got 91 and you got 80. Okay, maybe I, I, I have a problem. Why you're pushing down? You're hurting me. We hurt our kids with our tongues, even though we don't mean it. We love our youth. We love them, but we say some things that it can hurt. Or you hurt your daughter. Don't do that. Try to control. Try to think. Look at the, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَضًّا غَلِيذَ الْقَلْبِ لَمْ فَضُّ مِنْ حَوْلِكَ He's talking to the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, the best of the creation of Allah. He told Allah, to telling him, if you have harsh words, everyone will run away from you. How about us? May Allah forgive me. Forgive everyone. How many times I hurt someone with my tongue? Sometimes being quiet is easier, safer. I learned it the hard way. Honestly, I learned it the hard way. If you say a word, if you keep the word inside, no one knows about it. But if you say it, it controls you now. Especially to your wife. I remember I told my wife from when I married her, until today, she tells me, you remember the second day we were there, you told me this. Allah, I swear, I don't remember yesterday, what did I eat? I don't remember, but they remember. So be careful, especially the new married people, be careful when you talk to your wife, because really, they have good memory. And they will remember every word. And she tells me, word by word, you said this, and you did this, and you ate that. I forgot. But they don't forget. It's because it hurts. I know, I, I can understand. I hurt her by my words. I didn't mean it. I was young. But still, it's not an excuse. Remember, man kana, Allah, the Prophet said, man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawmi al-akhir falyaqul khayran aw liyasmut. The hadith of the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam, he's saying, that better to be quiet, better than talking. If you can say good, say it. If not, don't say it. I'll give you a simpler story. They say in the story that Sayyidina Isa was walking with his companions and they saw a dyed dog. And he said, oh, filthy dog, whatever bad. And Sayyidina Isa, look at his shining teeth. Find something good in everything. Everything has good in it. Everything in us. Every one of us has good in it. But you need to find it and use it. Your son, your daughter has many good things in him. Try to find it and always use it. 
in his good. Next, will we be questioned on everything we say? Everything? <laughs> yes. Yes. It's a long hadith, but I'll take the part. When Sayyidina Mu'adh asked the Prophet, alayhi salatu salam, will be questioned, Rasulullah said, thakilatka ummuka ya Mu'adh. Your mother will, 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 will die. وَهَلْ يُكَبُّ النَّاسُ عَلَىٰ وُجُوهِهِمْ أَوْ عَلَىٰ مَا نَخِرِهِمْ إِلَّا حَصَادُ وَالْسَنَتِهِمْ Don't you think that, the, that everyone will be questioned in the hereafter except what you say? Everything. What do you say? Everything. You heard it, it, the, every word. And the hardest one, a better, uh, uh, another, another, another dalil. You know, we ask to everyone to memorize the last two ayat of Surah Al-Baqarah. Before you sleep, before you walk, before you, in the morning, you say it. Halas? But if you memorize the ayah before it. لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَإِن تُبْدُوا مَا فِي أَنفُسِكُمْ أَوْ تُخْفُوا يُحَاسِبِكُمْ بِهِ اللَّهِ Do you know the understand, understand this meaning? That everything you say, even if I, if I want to hit my brother here, Allah knows from my heart that I want to hit him. The ayah said, I will be questioned. I'll be questioned. This is, the, uh, this is literally the ayah saying. You will be questioned in everything, even your intentions. And alhamdulillah, we have the Sahaba. The Sahaba ran to the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam and he said, we cannot, we cannot handle that. Imagine someone give you a bad word and I want to do bad to him. I want to, I want to, I want to. What can we do? And what does the Prophet tell them? Stop. Accept what Allah is telling you. Allah, when He says something, you say, You say, Yes. And the Sahaba, they said, Yes. And now Allah made it easier on us. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. Allah will not be questioning except what you can do. If I do something, if I say something, you will be questioned for it. But if you don't do it, if it's in your heart only, then it's okay. But will it be written? I always tell the youth, it will be written. You'll see it in your book. You thought of that. You said that. You said it in a way. Like I told you in the beginning of the khutbah. Good morning. Good morning. And leg like higher. I don't want to make it higher. I have a lot of high voice. But that's how you say it. Even the way you say it. The way you look at him. You remember my son words, my youth. When you talk to your father. Because I did it. When I was young, I was playing the game. And my father, what are you doing, my son? I said, oh, I'm playing, you know, the game. Tick, tick, tick. I don't know if you know. The old people will remember it. Tick, tick the game to the balls. Going. And my father looked, what are you doing? I smiled at him. Oh, you're old. You don't know. It's a new technology. Wallahi, my son did it to me. When he, what, what are you doing? I'm playing Fortnite. Now my son, I don't know if he's here or not. He's telling me now there is a new game. It's called, I'm not sure what's the game. I forgot it. But anyway, there's a new game coming. And it's there. And there was a smile. Hopefully Allah will forgive him. Because really, I'm paid back. Because I did it. May Allah forgive all of us. The smile you will be questioned for, subhanAllah. You need to know, you need to know, uh, every word has to come on the right time. Well, that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَدْعُوا إِلَى سَبِيلَ رَبِّكَ بِالْحِكْمَةِ وَالْمَوْعِضَةِ hasana. Why start with the hikmah? Not the mawaidah. Mawaidah means talking. You say something good to my son here, Abdul Rahman, I'll tell him something good. Right? I like him, I tell him something good. No, no. The choosing the right time to say it, it has to be there. You have to choose the right time to say something. If it's gone, خلاص. If, a, if a situation happened 10 days ago, خلاص. why are you talking about it now? It's gone. But if the situation happened today, take action today. Your daughter, your son, your brother, your, your anyone, act immediately. But Nicely. Nicely, huh? Mawaida Hasana. This means using foul language doesn't mean that you do any bad things or using bad words. No. 
Take care of the power of words. I said it before that the power of words sometimes can take someone to the hellfire 70 years. Inna rajula yaqulu bil kalima. Subhanallah. Allah said, Rasul Hadith said, bil kalima. One word. Bil kalima. Fi sakhati Allah. In the in Allah's to make to show that you're good, you're blending in. Oh, you know, salah is not important. They say, yeah, you know, yes. This yes, this yes can take someone to the hellfire. Not only to the top part, 70 years in the hellfire. Yes. Simple. Yes. Hijab is not important. Yes. The yes will take you to hellfire. You have to say no. Hijab is mandatory. Salah is mandatory. Maybe you are lazy. Maybe. But you have to come and pray. You have to pray. There's no options. You don't have options. It's mandatory. I told before that Salah, Siyam, Zakah and Hajj are the keys to Islam. To enter Islam. Just to enter. Imagine you don't have a key to your house. What can you do? You stay outside. You stay outside. The key to Islam is Salah. Especially for men. You don't have an excuse. You have to pray. You have to come to pray. Anyway, this is not the khutbah today. Remember that if you have a brother that he's doing bad things, you have to remember Surah Al-Asr. What is Surah Al-Asr? Always, I, I, I'm telling you, Imam Shaf, I said, if the Quran, all the Quran is Wal asr only, it's enough. It's enough. That's another khutbah. At the end of it, وَتَوَاصَوْ بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْ بِالصَّبْرِ You remind him, you have to be good. Then, look at this story that someone came to, to, uh, to someone who can narrate the ahlam, the dreams. And he said, I saw this dream. He, he told them, Every, all your family will die. And the man felt bad. <clears throat> all my family will die. And he went to Ibn Sirin, and he told him the same dream. And Ibn Sirin told him, you will be the longest living of your family. And the man felt, yes, alhamdulillah, I'll be the longest. Really, it's the same. Your family will die, you'll be the longest. It's the same, but the wording is different. You have to choose the wording, the right wording to say whatever you say. Lastly, about wording, look the power, sometimes, Again, because of the youth showed up, I'm very happy to, sh to see the youth, which are our future. We need you to push them to be leaders. And to create leaders, we have to help them. To help them in a way like, as for example, I'm, I'm giving you guys, Steam al Awala, who went, the, the head of Turk, uh, Khilafa, went to Muhammad al Fatih and he said, You see this? We want to open it. We want to. Every day he takes his son and he want to do this. What do you tell our sons? Play extra fortnight? Enjoy your time? Well, I want you to be an engineer. I, I have no problem, by the way, when you tell your son, I want to be you to be an engineer, doctor, a pharmacist, whatever, accountant. I want only to add one word before it. One word before that. What? A Muslim engineer, a Muslim doctor, a Muslim accountant. Because really, a Muslim firefighter, a Muslim whatever, nurse, I need you to be a Muslim first. My daughter was telling me yesterday, today, sorry, morning. She's working and she is emergency. And she said, I don't have time to pray Fajr. I, you know, time, I start at four, at six. I don't have time. I said, do you go to the washroom? Uh, he looked at me and stopped talking. I said, yes, I go to the washroom. I said, okay, you go to the washroom. You take two minutes in the washroom, make wudu, go to any room, start the fajr, two rak'ah, two minutes. Then everything will finish in five minutes. No excuse. No excuse, I'm sorry. It doesn't work. You have to pray. I said, okay, next time I'll do it. I didn't deem her to be in the hellfire. I didn't do that. I'm trying to give her a way out. When your son or daughter tells you, I, I tell everyone here in, 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 in winter, I cannot pray. Do you go to the washroom? I said, yes, okay. Go to the washroom. You can pray from almost 12 until 2. Don't you have five minutes anywhere? 
Do you go to the washroom? Yes, yes. Even in, in the corporation, they have cigarette time, five minutes. You can smoke, which is haram, by the way, but you can smoke for five minutes. I cannot pray for five minutes? Five minutes. Any prayer will take less than five minutes. Don't tell me it's more. We'll do one minute or one minute and a half, and prayer will take three, four minutes, and you're done. Better than this, if you can organize it with your brothers. Muhammad Ali Hassan, do you want to pray? Let's go. There's a room there. Let's pray. Conference room. I used to go to a conference. When I was working in corporations, I find the conference room empty. I close the sheds and pray with my brothers. And that's it. Or I, even better, I book it. When the booking was there, I booked the conference room. For 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I go and pray. Even Juma, we can do that. Juma takes five minutes, literally five minutes. I, t I, I can teach, inshallah, we're planning to play a program here. But you can do it. Again, the power of words is very important. We have to work on it. أقولوا قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لكم فاستغفروا يا فوز المستغفرين. اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا وتفنا صالحين اللهم الحمد لله ما قلنا نحمد إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين ونستغفر ونستهدي ونعود بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات عمنا أما بعد. The Hajj is starting in Shallah on the 18th and Al Eid will be on the 28th as far as I know until now. But anyway, we're working hard, inshallah. And inshallah, hopefully, hopefully by next week, we'll tell you we're going to pray Eid, inshallah. But for now, we don't know. We're working hard to do it, inshallah. What should we do? The last, these 10 days start, inshallah, from the 18th or 28th, or from the 19th or the 29th. Inshallah, you, most probably the 28th, 99%. But anyway, what should we do? These 10 days, you have to prepare yourself, especially with everyone. Youth like me, over 25, or youth like my son, less than 25. It's up to you. But what you do? Repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Forgive everyone. Forgive everyone. Stop hating everyone. I forgive everyone. May Allah forgive all of us, inshallah. Have the right intention to do good. Remember, whoever around you, remind him. Aid is coming. Let's do some extra work. Some extra sunnah. Some extra. I'm not, I'm not talking about fard, by the way. For the youth, I'm not talking about fard. You have to pray. No options. But I'm talking about sunnah. Extra two rak'ah after a prayer. After, after dhuhr or before dhuhr. After maghrib. After isha. Before fajr. All of this, you can pray extra sunnah. Two rak'ah more. It's up to you. Remember, extra tasbih. Extra, extra tahmid. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. Fasting the 27th, which is Arafat. Arafat day. Fasting it. What the reward is? The reward is equal to a year past and this year. Sanatun Madiatun wa Sanatun Baqiyah. This last year and this year. But I did it last year. Arafat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you like, if especially people who work in corporations, don't you like bonuses? I love bonuses, wallahi. Yeah, when I say, oh, we have you taking $2,000. Yeah. But with Hasanat, we're lazy. I don't want it. Enough. I fasted last year. And always the question comes, I did it last year. Should I do it this year? Do it. Do it. Try your best to do it. It's Tuesday. I know it's a working day. Try. Make the intention. Inshallah. Remember, if you can afford it, I know everyone now is, we, we have a big issue of money. But try, if you can, spend the money. Send the money back home. People are in, in need of really of adah. If you can do it, do it. Remember to give in the sake of Allah and definitely, definitely try to give to the mosque or to everyone around you. And final thing, before I go down, come to Eid prayer. Wednesday, try your best to take it off. If it's Eid, try to take it off. Try to send to your manager that I'm off. Even if you don't want to, try. Why? Why? Because really we need to think about 50 years from now, young grandkids, grandkids, maybe it will be a real holiday. Instead of, plus the Christmas, plus we can take these two days as a holidays. Now, I met some people in Walmart or some working anywhere, I said, I cannot, my manager doesn't agree. Right? My manager doesn't agree. Some parts of the world, world without naming them, if you take off on that day, you'll be in trouble. You'll be in trouble, really. In Canada here, we need to start thinking, what should we do as Muslims? We have to plan, work. 
Don't be surprised if you don't work and we're hit. Don't be, don't be surprised. Why are you surprised? We didn't do our job. Try. Take off. Come. Work with others. Tell others that we have Eid. Tell the surroundings. We have Eid. We have Ramadan. Come. Make sure that you join the congregation. Get your kids. If you have your kids, young or old, bring them. And if it's crowded, be happy. Don't yell about the organization. Oh, you're crowded. I don't, I, I'll go home. No. Come, join hands with each other. Let's make it aid, even if it's crowded. Remember that every one of us is responsible. Don't say that, oh, the people who are organizing are responsible. No, no, no. Every one of us is responsible. Don't take responsibility down. The power of words, you have to. The right of each one of us is to talk and give nasiha to each other. اللهم اهدنا في من هديت اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت اللهم اغفر لنا اللهم اغفر لنا اللهم اغفر لنا اللهم تقبل منا رمضان اللهم تقبل منا رمضان اللهم تقبل منا رمضان اللهم اللهم بارك لنا في كل الأوقات يا رب العالمين اللهم الحقنا بنبيك كما أمنا به ولم نره اللهم اجعلنا من أهل الفردوس الأعلى يا رب العالمين وآخر دعوان الحمد لله رب العالمين وقوموا لصلاتكم ورحمكم الله آخر من الصلاة ربنا يسعدك ربنا يسعدك الله اكبر الله اكبر اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان محمدا رسول الله حي على الصلاه حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاه قد قامت الصلاه الله اكبر الله اكبر لا اله الا الله Still, the rest of the Fill the gaps, please. Come in. Everyone, try to fit the gaps. Gazakum la khir. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahu Akbar. Allahum ba'd bina wa nika 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 ba'd bina مالك يوم الدين يا كن عبد ويا كن استعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله ثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حميده كحب ربي ورده الله أكبر الله أكبر رب اغفر لي الوسيل رب اغفر لي الله أكبر اللهم اغفر لنا ونصرف لنا فيها من عطف الناس على عام من عمدنا الله أكبر أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم 
صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين والعصر ان الانسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حميده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا اللهم اغفر ربنا اللهم ارحمنا اللهم اغفر لنا اللهم اشفع لنا اللهم اغفر لنا الله أكبر صلوات وطيبة السلام عليكم النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله استغفر الله العظيم 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 اللهم عني على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك